Do you like catching movies in the theaters? Check out MoviePass, where you can see a movie every single day for as low as $30 a month. And IAYTD has the hookup, where you can click the link in the description box below to try MoviePass for two weeks before committing to it. Only available in the United States currently, but check out the website for a full list of participating movie theaters near you. Hello and welcome to I'm Your Target Demographic. Today we are talking about the TV show Lost. So what is Lost? Um, This is meant for people that haven't seen the show but want to know just what the hell was happening, why are people talking about it still, and what is going on. So this is talking about the show Lost from 2004 to 2010. Yes. This video isn't going to convince you to watch Lost, but you just, you need to. So this is going to spoil everything. This isn't meant as a precursor. This is meant as a replacement. So without further ado, let's dive into what is lost. A basic premise. Oceanic 815 crashes on its way from Sydney to Los Angeles. The survivors find themselves on an island and have to survive and try to find a way to be rescued. The show is formatted in a way that emphasizes flashbacks. So each episode focuses on a character or two and shows what happened before the crash. So now you discover that the person you liked is a killer and the person you hate is really a good person. It's a fantastic method and ensures that we don't get island fatigue. While the mythology is fun to figure out, the show really succeeded because these characters were captivating and relatable. Each flashback would change your perspective, especially once you started finding links to each other. Could it really be coincidence that these people ended up on a plane together when they had some incredible connections in their lives before this? In terms of the mysteries, In the very first episode, they plant the seed that this island is much more than we think. There's a monster in the woods that kills people. There's a polar bear in the middle of this tropical island. Mysteries start piling up, and that made the hook of why this show was so enthralling. I know personally that I would need to talk to people for the next week about the latest mystery and what it could have meant. I don't think the show is ideal for binge-watching, though, for that exact reason. The show is captivating because of its mysteries. It wasn't meant to be rushed through. You'll miss the small details and won't have time to think about them. So here's some of the mysteries. So there's a polar bear, right? Crazy, there's a monster. There's a guy that was in a wheelchair, but as soon as the plane crashed, he could walk. There was a woman that had cancer and is now cured. And then there's the whole envelope of there's other people living on the island. Who are they? What are they? What do they want? Those are all some of the mysteries. There's two ways that I need to explain the basics of Lost. There's the people, and then there's the mythology. I'm going to cover the mythology first. Here's why there's a monster on the island, why people get cured, why these people got stranded there together. This island is special. At its core, it has an energy at its center that emits incredible electromagnetic energy, which also happens to heal both mentally and physically. This energy, or light as they call it, is somehow tied to the goodness that exists in the world. And if this light were to ever go out, the world would be doomed. So someone must protect this light. We find that this airplane was full of candidates, people that could become the next protector of all that is good in this world. They were brought there by the current protector because he knew that his time was likely up, even though he's been protecting this island for thousands of years. So why would his time be up? While he stands for goodness, his brother is the embodiment of evil and darkness. He is able to turn into smoke and even appear as those that have died, and he wants to escape from this island but that means he must find a way to kill his good brother. The passengers on this plane are just the latest candidates to be brought to the island, used as pawns in a game of good versus evil. There's a lot that happens between that. People have discovered the island and wanted to use its energy for all sorts of purposes. There have been other civilizations built there, there have been scientific exhibitions, and even other unlucky crashes. So when we encounter other people on the island, there's many ways that they could have got there. If you haven't seen the show, knowing this much won't ruin it for you because it won't make much sense. As the show progresses, you'll still be just as confused as we were when we watched it for the first time. The mythology, while intriguing, isn't what kept me really coming back and isn't what made Lost a great show. It was the characters. So let's talk about the people. When people discuss the ending of Lost, they don't talk about the smoke monster or the light. Here's what they talk about. The final season of Lost wasn't about flashbacks anymore. It was about flash sideways which shows a reality where the plane never crashed. But some things were different in a way that they shouldn't be. The show ends with the revelation that everything we've seen in this Flash Sideways universe has been after our characters have died. Now this doesn't mean that they died in the plane crash. I hate when people misunderstand that. 
else did you miss? Super Bowl winners, Giants, Steelers, Saints, Packers, Giants again. Uh, Black President, that's new. Oh, and Lost, they were all dead, I think. <laughs> Everything on the island really happened, but when each of our characters die, they go to this limbo and they wait for each other. For example, one character might have died season one, and someone else could have lived 50 more years, but they all reunite and go on together into this afterlife in our incredible series finale. So they were not dead the whole time. They merely reunited, and they go on and they let go. The island was real, and everything that happened on the island was real. The ending was very divisive among fans. I thought it was beautiful and touching, a perfect way to say goodbye to our characters. Others thought it was too sappy, too religious, and too open-ended. We didn't get answers to everything about the mythology in these mysteries, but I was totally okay with some questions being unanswered. So now culturally, what are some references to Lost that might show up that you might need to understand? While the term the other has been used by social and psych experts for a long time, Lost popularized referring to a group of people as the others because they were the other people living on the island. My favorite reference to this came from The Office. Remember on Lost, when they met the others? You might also see fans of the show reference a set of numbers. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, and 42. These numbers appear all throughout the series, and eventually it's discovered that each candidate is assigned a number. And these numbers were used to somehow call them to the island. People also might make reference to the weird things on the island when something weird happens in real life. So after something, you know, a series of strange events happen, someone might say, what's next, a polar bear? You know, things like that comes up surprisingly often. So that's basically it. A bare bones explanation of what the premise was, how it's formatted, why people watched it, and why people are still talking about it, and why it was so divisive. But this wasn't meant to get you to watch Lost, but hopefully if you haven't seen it, but you went through this video, this sounds interesting. I assure you, the production quality is incredible. It's a great show. And as long as you really pay attention to the last season and kind of understand what's happening, you're going to love the series finale. People that didn't love it might not understand it. Or they understand it, but they just thought it was... They wanted more answers. That's probably it. They wanted the mythology addressed, and they wanted answers to their questions. And we didn't always get that. So thanks for watching this week's What Is, and we'll see you next week.